Good evening everyone. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot.com. Today we will learn how to use the add rotator control in ASP.NET. It's a simple XML file to build the advertisements to open Visual Studio already created website uh, here we use in this program the website 3 don't worry we take uh, a different web page take some time to preparing solutions yeah okay add another xml file uh, sorry xml file xml file this is the advertisements file advertisement file please take this advertisements file in the application data folder so this is the advertisements file and make advertisements tag this is the first ad we may uh, designing uh, with image url field okay uh, take the image here in the box existing item yeah I have some images like first second third oh yeah uh, that is a first dot jpg also set the height and width width 100 pixel also height 100 pixel this is the first ad copy this and the second ad is stud.zpz yeah add rotator control works on uh, randomized images you cannot set the display take another waveform default 5.aspx and place the add rotator control here yeah this is the add rotator control go to properties and select the advertisements file side in application data folder because the application data folder provide the security directly cannot run on browser oops the images that does not display it here because the images reside in image folder image save it oops Oops, the image is just not a split. If your image in the root folder does not take this uh, yeah if your image is uh, reside in the root folder uh, like the uh, these images are this uh, are existing in website 3 does not existing in subfolders if we take images in subfolders then we use a root sign otherwise does not used it okay that is a randomized image it yeah that is changing thank you thank you very much